Welcome to this educational video from the PM Lighting Academy. In this video, we are going to show you how to easily design a landscape lighting plan for your home and install the CS9100 LED Professional Series Landscape Lighting System. Before you begin, you must have a complete understanding of your system and how everything works together to create a professional design. Your CS9100 LED system has several components. First are two styles of luminaires or light fixtures in your kit and together these lighting fixtures are designed to handle the most often needed outdoor lighting applications. Next you will have a power transformer, the key component to provide a safe and effective low voltage lighting system. The CS9100 LED system comes with a 100 watt professional transformer providing ample power to more than double the number of fixtures in your system. Your system will also come with a roll of heavy gauge direct burial cable. And finally, you will have several accessories including a photoelectric timer and stake installation tool to complete the installation. Different types of luminaires are designed for different types of applications to allow you to customize your design according to your individual needs. The CS9100 LED system includes fixtures that are incredibly versatile to handle a variety of lighting applications. First is the CS936 LED Copper Path and Area Luminaire. Next is the CS937 LED Copper Bullet or Directional Luminaire. You may have purchased the optional CS938 LED Copper Deck and Patio Luminaire or the optional CS933 LED In-Ground Well Luminaire to expand your system for your specific lighting needs. The deck light and well light are not part of the CS9100 LED system and must be purchased separately. Let's begin by looking at effective applications for the CS937 LED Solid Copper Directional Luminaire. Directional lights are one of the most versatile fixtures in the industry and have a wide variety of applications. This fixture is ideal for washing walls on the home with uplighting. These luminaires are often the foundation of an effective design and provide a beautiful effect on the front of the house. One common application for the CS937 fixture is to illuminate peaks and other architectural elements. When needed, this fixture can be used to uplight porch columns to complete the illumination on the front of a home. The CS937 directional luminaire is also perfect to illuminate trees and accentuate architectural elements you want to feature on your home. Use the angled lens cap top or eyebrow to hide the bulb from view with its flexible 360 degree rotation. As with all landscape lighting fixtures, you want to see the illumination of the design, not the light source. Directional lights are also used to tastefully illuminate such elements as statues or urns, fountains and bird baths, and other water features such as natural ponds or waterfalls. Now let's look at how to effectively use the CS936 LED Copper Path and Area Luminaire in our design. These fixtures are most often used to illuminate walkways and paths to help guide guests around the home. Path lights are also ideal for lighting steps for additional safety and beauty. You can use these fixtures to softly illuminate any surrounding area such as garden areas with natural stepping stones or add lighting to water features such as pools or natural ponds. The optional CS938 LED Copper Deck and Patio Luminaire is an excellent choice for lighting outdoor entertaining areas. These fixtures are easy to install and use only 3 watts of power to softly light the surrounding area. Finally, the optional CS933 LED in-ground well luminaire is perfect to illuminate large trees, tall flagpoles, and accentuate large architectural elements on your home. Use the tall side of the fixture to hide the bulb from view so you do not see the light source, similar to when using the directional luminaire. 
Because well lights require the most power to operate at 9 watts each, you must be careful in planning your system when incorporating the CS933 LED fixtures into your design to avoid overloading the 100 watt transformer. Purchase the CS100 TK Power Accessory Kit to add another 100 watt transformer to your system as well as additional cable and timer for greater flexibility. An effective lighting design is the key to success to illuminate your home like a professional. Let's see how to make your plan come to life. Start with a written plan and follow these easy design steps. First, determine the location of the power transformer before you begin the installation. You will want to pick a location that is close to a suitable power outlet and one that is less visible to others. Second, Lay out the main supply cables according to the easy design chart in your installation manual. We recommend using two main supply cables to simplify the layout and balance the load of the luminaires on the transformer. Third, install each luminaire at the desired location around your home, connecting the fixtures to the main supply cable. Since LED fixtures operate within a voltage range, and use a fraction of the wattage of old style halogen fixtures, you can simply connect these LED fixtures one after another in series with minimal voltage drop. Fourth, bury all cables as needed up to six inches underground. Finally, plug in the transformer and set the timer. Let's examine a typical wiring design plan for the CS9100 LED system. This design has several elements, each working together to complete the system. The first element in the plan is the power transformer. This unit must be installed on an outside wall and be placed a minimum of 12 inches above ground. Locate the transformer near an approved GFCI grounded outlet. Use the screws and anchors provided to mount the transformer to any exterior wall. Use anchors if mounting the unit to a brick wall. You will need to drill a quarter inch hole to insert the anchor. Tap the anchor in the hole with a hammer. For wood or plaster walls, mount the unit to a stud with just the screws. The power transformer requires a controller to turn the unit on and off. The CS9100 LED comes with a photoelectric timer for this purpose. The transformer plugs into the bottom of the timer and the timer plugs into the GFCI outlet. The next elements in the plan are the main supply cables. These are the home run cables between the transformer and the luminaires. The total length of the main supply cable determines the wattage available for fixtures on each home run, so follow these basic guidelines. Use at least two main supply cables to balance the power load on the transformer. Do not exceed the maximum wattage according to the length of the cable. Remember, shorter links provide for greater wattage, while longer links lower the available wattage on the cable run. Simply refer to the easy design chart to find out how much wattage you can put on each cable run based on the length. We are now ready to discuss the last elements of the plan, the luminaires. We will discuss these individually for proper installation. Let's begin with the installation of the CS936 LED path and area luminaire. For this installation, you will need to use the stake driving tool included in the kit to drive the stake into the ground at the desired location. Simply slide the driver tool over the end of the stake, making sure it bottoms out on the stake. Position the stake at the desired location. Using a mallet or hammer, drive the stake into the ground at least six inches. Make sure the stake remains vertical to keep the fixture straight. Now you can install the LED component into the lamp socket. To avoid damage to the LED, do not force the wire pins into the socket. Line up the wire pins with the holes in the socket and gently push straight down until the LED component sinks into the holes. 
It is now time to assemble the luminaire. Simply slide the top of the fixture onto the stake and insert the nylon holding pin into one of the holes on the side. There are four positioning holes in the stake to adjust the height of the top. These positions enable you to set the amount of light output to suit your design preferences. To achieve the maximum light output, use the second hole from the bottom of the stake. Use the quick connects attached to the wire lead on the luminaire to connect the fixture to the power cable. Squeeze the two parts together to make the connection tight. If you want to use slip joint pliers to make this task easier, be careful to ensure that the jaws of the pliers are on the flat ends of the connectors to avoid damaging them. The interlocking legs must bypass each side of the steel jaws. Bury the cable as desired to a maximum of 6 inches deep and installation is complete. We are now ready to look at installation for the CS937 LED directional luminaire. You will once again need the driver tool to install the stake in the ground at the desired location. Before sliding the driver tool over the stake, make sure that the two wires are tucked inside the stake to protect them from damage. Position the stake at the desired location. Using a dead blow mallet or hammer, drive the stake into the ground at least six inches. Make sure the stake remains upright and vertical. Remove the driver cap and pull the two wires with terminal connectors out of the top of the stake. Match the male and female terminal connectors on the stake and the luminaire and connect the wires. In low voltage applications, you do not need to worry about positive and negative matching of wires. Just connect the male terminals on the luminaire to the female terminals on the stake. Slide the luminaire onto the stake carefully tucking the wires into the stake cavity to avoid damage. To install the LED component, simply loosen the small brass screw holding the lens cap in place and remove the top. Insert the MR16 style LED component into the socket by gently pushing the two pins into the holes. Be careful not to force the bulb and damage the pins on the LED. You can now replace the lens cap and tighten the brass screw to secure it in place. Rotate the lens cap to adjust the eyebrow as needed to hide the light source from view, effectively using this as a glare shield. You can use the center brass screw to adjust the angle of the luminaire to meet your specific needs. The brass knuckle allows a wide range of angles. Tighten the screw to lock in the angle you desire. After adjusting the angle and direction of the luminaire, tighten the small brass screw of the knuckle to secure the luminaire to the stake. As with the path lights, use the attached quick connects to connect the luminaire to the power cable. Squeeze the parts together to make the connection tight. Bury the cable as desired to a maximum of six inches deep and installation is complete. After installing all of your luminaires and cable, it is now time to wire the main supply cables to the power transformer and set up the timer. Begin by opening the cover on the transformer to expose the terminal board where the main supply cables will be connected. For easy opening, insert a flat screwdriver between the bottom of the cover and the housing and lift up. Only use the bottom screws on the terminal board to connect the cables and do not loosen the top screws for any reason. Next, remove the electrical knockout using a screwdriver and pliers and install the cable clamp in the hole. Feed the main supply cables through the clamp into the transformer housing, leaving approximately six inches of cable inside the housing. Lastly, tighten the screws on the cable clamp to safely secure the cables. Split the main supply cables approximately 3 to 4 inches to separate the cables into two wires. Strip the ends of each wire to expose about one half inch of bare copper. When using more than one supply cable, twist one side of each main supply cable together to form a wire harness 
to make inserting the wires in the screw terminal board easier. The harness will have a left and right side just like the individual cables. Connect one side of the wire harness to the bottom left terminal screw by inserting the bare copper end into the bottom opening and tighten the screws to secure the cables. Next, connect the other side of the wire harness to the bottom right terminal screw and tighten the screw as before. This is all that is needed to complete this part of the installation. One helpful tip to protect the open end of the main supply cables is to cut one side of the cable about a half inch shorter than the other. This will guard against potential short circuits. Adding electrical tape or wire nuts to the ends of the main supply cables is optional, but not necessary. Setting up the photoelectric timer is easy. First, plug the timer into a GFCI protected outlet. Then, plug the power cord from the transformer into the outlet on the bottom of the timer. Now, turn the dial on the timer to your desired setting. There is a manual on setting to override the photocell. The dust to dawn setting will operate the lights all night. Or use the dusk on with preset times off after two, four, six, or eight hours of operation. To complete this portion of the installation, close the cover door on the transformer, making sure all wires are secured inside the housing. Turn on the circuit breaker switch if needed. This switch is the long paddle on the bottom of the transformer and is designed to trip if a short circuit or overload is detected to prevent the transformer from damage. Now set the high-low switch to the high position. For this system, you will not need to use the low position since LEDs operate within a fairly wide voltage range. Now that you have installed the transformer and timer, check to make sure all lights are working. You can use the manual on setting on the timer to override the photocell for this purpose. Then turn the timer dial back to the automatic setting you prefer and be ready to enjoy your outdoor lighting system tonight. Congratulations from the PM Lighting Academy on a successful and easy installation.